Well, here we are. Is this where you live? This is where you live. This is really frustrating. I don't remember this place at all. Relax. The doctor says your amnesia is probably temporary. Probably. That's really encouraging. Well, they're not sure how much brain damage you caused before the accident with the drugs and alcohol. They didn't say anything at the hospital about me being a drug user. You had enough worries with the amnesia. But in the three days you were unconscious, you went through drug and alcohol withdrawal, you're completely detoxified. You can start over. So I was a junkie. The blood tests showed at least two illegal drugs in your system plus the alcohol. This place is a dump. Are you sure this is my apartment? Yes. You had a nice apartment before you lost your job. How did I lose my job? You were fired. Don't tell me. I failed a drug test. Listen, why don't we get started? Why did they fire me? For stealing money to support your drug habit. This is unbelievable. This just gets worse and worse. I suppose this explains why you were the only person to visit me in the hospital. I'm a common criminal. Listen, let's not concentrate on what's lost, let's. What about my parents? Do I have parents? They disowned you. I suppose I stole from them. Oh, man. But that isn't why they disowned you. Why? You threatened them with a knife. Don't I have any redeeming qualities? You're very bright. That's how you avoided spending much time in jail. Listen, let's get you packed. Packed? Was I in the process of moving when I had the accident? No. Well, why should I get packed? Well, when I came here to collect your mail, you received an eviction notice. You have three days to vacate the premises. Now I'm not sure I was so lucky to have survived the crash. I have no family. I have no friends, except you. You're my friend, aren't you? I was. Don't tell me I stole from you too. My money and my car. It was my car you crashed. If you're not my friend, what are you doing here? I read about the accident in the newspaper. You weren't carrying any identification. They needed somebody to identify you. But you didn't have to hang around. You visited me every day. You didn't have anybody else. But I'm such a jerk. Why would you bother? It's what Jesus would do. Oh, so you're a Christian? Yes. Thank God for Christians. Thank God. So, you're going to help me pack up? Yes. And then what? I don't have a car. I don't have a home. I don't have any money. You can stay with me until you get your feet on the ground. You're going to let me stay with you even though I stole from you? Yes. You trust me? I don't trust you. But I will give you a place to live. Listen, were we close friends? We were roommates. You went to my church for a while. It obviously didn't do much good. Obviously. So, shall we get you packed? Wait. Why? Earlier, you told me that with my body detoxified, I have an opportunity to start over. Yes, I did. I want to start over. I don't think you have any choice. You don't have much left. What I mean is, I've just met this person I used to be and I don't like him at all. He was completely self-involved and self-indulgent. Yes, I guess he was. No, I mean, I want to start over and do things right. What did you have in mind? I want to do things God's way. Okay. What do I have to do? Well, normally, you would have to confess your sins to God. But you can't remember any of yours. Does that mean I have to wait until I get my memory back before I can get right with God? Not at all. All you have to do is acknowledge that your best efforts have failed miserably. They sure have. Then you ask forgiveness for your sins, whether you can name them specifically or not. So, I don't have to remember them to have them forgiven. No. Nobody can remember all their sins. If God only forgave the sins people can remember, only the people with photographic memories would be saved. God forgives all your sins, even those you can't remember. Thank God. Thank God. Listen, when I dropped off the boxes earlier, I dropped off a Bible for you. Let's go see what the Bible says about forgiveness.